Orion and the Dark is generally a really good film, but they made a couple of bad decisions. One isn't a spoiler. It's something that happens early on, so I'll explain what that is. The other thing is a spoiler, so I'll discuss that at the end with a spoiler warning. This was released this year, in 2024. It's a DreamWorks film directed by Sean Charmatz, and it stars Jacob Tremblay as the voice of Orion and Paul Walker Hauser as the voice of Dark. And Orion is a very well-written character. He's a, a young boy who is scared of, quite frankly, everything. And he's particularly afraid of the dark. And one night, he meets Dark, who is this brilliant character. The character does look quite intimidating. I can imagine a very young child being quite scared of this character the first time we meet him, but then I think it's very easy to warm to him. He has a very likeable personality, and Dark wants Orion to like him, so he takes him to meet his other friends, and these are friends who are sleep, quiet, unexplained noises, uh, insomnia, and sweet dreams. And Sweet Dreams is my favourite. I love the designs of all of them, but visually, Sweet Dreams is my favourite. The character just looks amazing. And the animation quality throughout the entire film is really good. I love the animation and I love the concept. It's all about making this young boy not afraid of the dark, but it goes one step further and helps to show that actually we need the dark. I won't say exactly how it does this. I don't want to spoil too much of the narrative, but I think it did it in a, in a way that was very clever and generally very entertaining. I like the fact that it's not just saying the dark isn't that scary once you get used to it, but also it's something we need and we can embrace the darkness for what it brings us. And I thought it was a very clever approach to take and it worked really well. What's not clever is the decision to make this seem like it didn't happen. One of the great things about animations is that you can do things that reality doesn't allow us and you can imagine that these things happen. Unfortunately, we learn very early on, I'd say within the first 20 minutes, but I didn't time it, but we learn that this didn't happen to Orion. This is a story that adult Orion is telling his daughter. It's a story he's made up and that kind of ruined it. Because straight away we're being told, well, this didn't happen and this isn't what darkness is like. Dark doesn't have this personality. It's a made-up story. And that kind of ruins the immersive fantasy element. And that was bad enough, but not enough to ruin my enjoyment of the story. I could overlook that and enjoy the rest of it. But as it went on, the character of his daughter, not a bad character, not a badly written character, but the role the daughter played initially seemed like it would be a good idea, but they took it too far. And I will explain with a spoiler warning ultimately what I mean by that because something happens later on in the film that I just think was a terrible, terrible idea. It's almost like they thought we don't have enough substance to make this a reasonable length. It's about an hour and a half. So let's give it another dimension. And unfortunately, that other dimension was just a really bad idea. And I'm not alone in thinking that. I did read some reviews after watching this because I was wondering if I was the only person who thought that. And it turns out, no, I'm not. Most of the criticism for the film that I've read is about the narrative structure. And I 100% agree. Whenever we were pulled out of the story focusing on young Orion, it just ruined it and it was completely unnecessary. And to begin with, it, it felt like unnecessary padding. But as I said, they ultimately took it too far. And it did reach a point where it was no longer possible to separate the story with young Orion and the story with older Orion and his daughter. And it I, I don't want to say it ruined the film because I still enjoyed it and I definitely recommend it. But I think it made a film that could have been amazing into one that was slightly above mediocre in terms of the narrative. But the messages are gorgeous. The animation is beautiful very much a fan of Sweet Dreams as a character, and I can't fault the message they're trying to deliver. And they did it with a, a gorgeous animation style. So all of that worked really well, and I definitely recommend it. But I will now explain very briefly the other decision that I thought was a really terrible decision. So it is a spoiler. I won't go into a tremendous amount of detail, but it is something that happens in the last 
I think the last 17 minutes, I kind of looked when this started to happen because I felt like the film was about to finish. And I thought, yeah, this is a really great point to finish it. This is a really gorgeous way to conclude things. And then it just went a bit weird. And this is, of course, a big spoiler from now. And the bit where it went a bit weird was when his young daughter interacting with young Orion was stuck there and there was talk of time travel. And I just thought, what are you doing? This is completely ludicrous. This doesn't fit in with the rest of the film. And it's like you got yourself into a hole with this daughter and you didn't know how to get her out of this hole, metaphorically speaking. So they just decided to go down some weird direction that doesn't make any sense. And if they just ended the film where it ended, because we know this is not a true story. We know this didn't happen to young Orion. We know that it's a story that's being told. So they could have just ended it there without needing to explain how the daughter got back because we know it didn't happen. So we don't need an explanation for it. And I definitely think that the last, let's say the last 15, 20 minutes might not even exist and we wouldn't lose anything. In fact, it would have been a better film if we didn't have that ridiculous ending. I'm not necessarily saying you should turn it off 20 minutes before the end. Definitely give it a watch and see what you think. But personally, I think it's just an absolutely diabolical way to end the film. It makes no sense. It's completely unnecessary. Did they have a time frame where they told you have to reach the 1 hour 30 mark? And then they just thought, okay, well, let's just shove some random thing on the end and hope for the best. That's exactly what it feels like to me. So it's actually not a very well-written film at all. But the message is great. The animation is great. The character of Orion, of young Orion, is really likable. The voice acting across the board is absolutely fine. And I definitely enjoyed more of it than I disliked. So I do recommend it. But there is significant room for improvement. Orion and the Dark is definitely worth watching, but don't expect perfection.